Hey guys, it's Blu-ray David, and today I'm going to do a Lego Captain America minifigure comparison for you guys. Now, before I start, um, I just want to let you know I want to uh, try to get a second channel. Uh, I'm going to need some help from my buddy Mr. Explosion, because he knows how to do that. I don't know how to do that. I'm sure it must be easy for you guys to get a second channel, but I don't have the time right now to do it, but I'll try to get in contact with him. Um, right now, um, I want this to be like a Lego channel right now. Uh, I want to be known as the Brick King, alright? Because, cause, you know, you've heard of Brick Queen, right? She's on YouTube. A shout out to Brick Queen. Yeah, um, I watch her videos a lot. Uh, for like Lego Star Wars, Lego Marvel, Lego DC, and maybe on a rare time, the Lego Movie, and sometimes Ninjago. Yeah, so I want this to be a Lego channel, but for now. Yeah, that's all I have to say. So let's get on to these mini things. All right, so here's my two Captain America mini figs. Now these are the only two I have. I do not have the other ones from the previous years. Um, why don't we get to head? Start showing uh, the very first one. This is the original 2012 Captain America from. Marvel's The Avengers when it came out in 2012. Now, he came in the Captain America's motorcycle set. It was on clearance for me and my local Target. It was like, probably, was it $10.99 or $11.99? But it was like the last one. I think this was originally $13. This came out. And... He comes with a dark red shield. I do, I do not appreciate the dark red shield. And see his skin there; it's a little bit dark. And if you haven't seen my Captain America little motorcycle review, I did. I showed you the side of Captain America's arm. It's glued because it's cracked. And here's the back, and as you can see, there's like, I don't know if you can see that printing on the back of his head. Now, I know a second version of Captain America that came out in 2012 after this one. It was like, was it San Diego Comic Con or New York Comic Con? Like that, Captain America came in a two-pack with, like, um, Iron Man. I'm sure it must be very hard. For you guys to get that uh, minifigure pack, or maybe just the one minifig, and the shield was different from this one. Okay, last minifig is the uh, basically 2015 through 2016 minifig of Captain America. Now, this is the one that came out last year for. Marvel's Age of Ultron. Um, he came out. <clears throat> I would say three sets, cause. Well, this version came out in two Age of Ultron sets, and the other one I told you about, the third one, it was like Steve Rogers, but in his Captain America costume. That one came in the Helicarrier, and of course, yet the brighter red shield, which I pretty much enjoy. This brighter red shield came out in 2014 for the Avengers Assemble lineup. What was this set called? Uh, Captain America vs. Hydra, or the Red Skull. I loved that suit, even though I don't have that minifig. Um, I think that set was supposed to be for the first Avenger. I wish LEGO could have started sets like like a Marvel sets back in 2008. You know, starting with Iron Man, to the Incredible Hulk, 
Iron Man 2, Thor, and Captain America the First Avenger. Yeah, so this time he's got like brown gloves. And, let's see. Okay, this year for Captain America, he was sold. Uh, I would say four sets. Yeah, yeah. Um, because, you know, this version, he was sold in the airport battle, uh, tanker truck takedown set, and the poly bag set I showed you. And another version of Steve Rogers with the suit on. It's a Black Panther pursuit, yeah. And they could have taken off the red, because, you know, this year he doesn't have that on. But I like this minifig. I've always wanted this guy. <laughs> I mean, a lot, of dis a lot of people were disappointed. A lot of disappointed people did not like this minifigure anymore. So, he, he has a little bit more printing on the head. I don't know if you could see all that. And, yes, they did add in more printing on the back. Alright, guys, that's pretty much what I have to say and show to you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. There will be more comparison videos for you guys. Now, don't expect me to get all minifigures of the same characters. Um, I mean, I could, just in my opinion. Well, there are some minifigures that I can't get in expensive sets. I know a lot of you guys want to get the real deals offline, like just the minifigs, but at the same time, you want to play with the set. So, I would rather save my money on a really big, expensive set to get a minifig. Or, you know, like the Helicarrier? I don't think I'm going to get that, like, right now as a kid. I'll get this, like, uh, cool adult collector, like, the minifigs I want to get from those, like, the three special exclusive ones, like, Steve Rogers, Captain America, Nick Fury with his official black leather suit, and Maria Hill. The two minifigs that are not exclusive is 2015's Hawkeye and 2015's through 16's Black Widow. Alright, anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm still doing the Q&A, guys, so don't forget that. Alright, so bye, guys. May the Lord be with you, always. Okay, love you guys. Bye.